Now over to Mark, who's always mean. Well, no, he's not. He's mean in the kitchen, and that is a good <laughs> meme. And you're doing Japanese today. We're turning Japanese. Yeah, well, not turning Japanese. I am cooking Japanese, and we've got pork tomkatsu on the menu. And we've got these beautiful pork chops. I'm going to show you how to trim them up. We're going to crumb them, something that Mike loves doing. So he's <laughs> going to do that again. And then we're going to pan fry them, so they're going to be crispy pork chops. What is better than that? And we're going to make a beautiful Japanese barbecue sauce to go over the top. Serve it with some rice in a bowl. It's going to be great. And we're going to garnish it a little where. Uh, sort of traditional way a bit later with one of these. Well, we're not going to put that on the plate. This is a piping bag where we're going to put the sauces on the plate and make something special. So if you've ever wanted to make one of these out of this, stay tuned and I'll show you all the secrets. Now it's over to Holly. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. Mark, ready for another fantastic meal. Yep, that's it. We're Japanese today. So mm -hmm. very simple dish. Crumbed crispy pork chop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can't go wrong with that. That <laughs> sounds divine. Right, so we've got our pork chops here. Yeah. So beautiful pork chops. Uh, there's still a little bit of bone in there, mm -hmm. which is fine mm -hmm. because all you need to do just feel out where the bone is and we can just cut round it. Okay. Okay. Well, aren't we, well that's there. wastage, isn't it? Well, do you want to eat the bone? No, okay, but we're going to use the meat. Yeah, of course. Uh, all gonna, of it? Yeah, okay, we're going cool. to use the meat. Okay, and good. then, I mean, all these little bits of bone as well. I mean, yeah, you don't need to waste them. Pop them in the freezer when you get a big bag full, make a pork stock. Oh, there you go. Nice. There you go. So you can always oh, do that. I'll, I'll crumb that and eat it too, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, obviously, it's pork and you've got this nice bit of fat in there. So yeah. you can leave a bit of the fat on it. It's quite nice. You can trim it off if you want, you mm -hmm. know, if, you, if you're sort of health conscious. But just be careful of the rinds, okay? We do want to take this off the skin. Mm hmm. Uh, because we're going to crumb it, so it's not going to have direct contact with the pan, and it's not going to get crispy, so it's just going to make it really, nice. really, really chewy. So I'm just going to trim it up just just a fraction more, you know, leave a little bit of the skin on. Just check there's a little bit of bone there as well. Okay, so make sure you get all the bones out. Yeah, yeah, so just feel, and the best way is just sort of just feeling it, you know. Okay, cool. Right, and then you've got your, you've got your pork chop here. You know, you can leave it nice and thick if you want. Yes. It's going to take a little bit longer. Or back of the uh, knife, carefully with your hands, you just give it a light tap and you just sort of flatten it out slightly right. if you want to do that or you can get a mallet um, some greaseproof paper and really bash it really thin and then you, you can fry it quite fast get it nice and golden and it is cooked so we've gone from feeling it to bashing it okay cool <laughs> nice. this is good. Right. i'm going to do another one of those yeah and then i'm going to leave uh, the crumbing in your capable hands <laughs> so we've got the eggs yes the panko breadcrumbs so the japanese breadcrumbs yep. so they're a little bit bigger you can use normal ones if you want but the panko are really nice you know, yeah that's, that's what they use and a bit of flour and we're going to season the flour so a little bit of salt and pepper in the flour okay that's going to get some uh, seasoning into the pork chop right you've got three bowls there right so we need the eggs and the big wild yep. bowl yeah Okay, cool. There's a little fork there to uh, whisk the eggs up. Nice, thank you. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how many times I've done this, but I always get nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, as soon as everyone here, I think, including uh, Matt. I was at work the other day and they were they were doing some little croquettes and they were doing the pan in and uh, and it was a new guy to the kitchen and he was doing it and then he got his he, he got all his hands mixed oh, up and no. he all his hands and rookie and, mistake. It's a yeah, rookie I know. mistake. <laughs> I know, and it's, yeah, it just it reminded me of somebody. Oh. But, yeah, no, that was just the first time, not anymore, not anymore. Right, okay, you know, I'm good now. So what's next? The, pa the crumbs? Yeah, yeah, pop the crumbs in. Okay. Panko crumbs. Well, where do we put the flour? Does the flour go on? Yeah, in, in the other one. Well, no, but what order does it go in? I've forgotten. Why you tell me? Flour first. <laughs> So you want the flour first, and then that's going to stick your egg to the flour. Okay. And then the breadcrumbs are going to stick to the egg. <laughs> okay. No, no, I knew that. I just wanted you to reinforce it yeah. for our audience. Oh, that's yeah. all. It's all part of my tactic. I'm making this the best cooking segment ever. Um, okay. Right. So a little bit of seasoning in the flour. Salt and pepper. Yep. So that's it. So just a, just a little bit. Yep. Um, and then, you know, this is a great tip as well. I mean, put any seasoning and flavours you want in here. You know, you can put spices in here if you want. Mm -hmm. You know, and it just gets the uh, flavour into the pork. Okay. Um, or into the breadcrumbs as well. Herbs really good to chop in there. You just got to be careful though if you put too many in. You know, you pan fry it and then it's gonna they're gonna go black. But right, so let's start uh, crumbing these. Okay. So egg, <laughs> yeah, flour, no, no, flour, flour, flour first. Flour first. <laughs> okay. It's professional. This is good. No, well, this is. No, that's it. Yeah, and then and then just uh, just give it a clap. 
So mm -hmm. dust off your excess because you don't want uh, a big soggy, soggy layer of flour. That's okay. it, beautiful. Looks good. Now into the egg. Now into the egg. Yeah. One hand, remember? Yep. That's, that's it, that's yeah. That's the rule, yep. one hand. Otherwise so get it really up. soaked, lift it up and just get your excess egg off. Yeah, that's it. Because you'll go to scratch your nose or something you'll end up with, you know, flour and <laughs> panko crumbs all over your face. There you go. In there, give it a shake around and okay. remove it with the other hand. Okay, cool. And we are... Boom. Sorted. There you go. Look, Look at, at that. that. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, so I can speed up on this one a yeah, little bit. that's it. So flour, shake the excess off, dump it in a bit of egg using the same hand, dunk it in your panko crumbs, and then we're going to sear these off, are we? Yeah, yeah, we're going to cook them. So we're going to cook them now. So you can, um, if you want, if, you, if it's easier, you know, you can throw it in the deep fryer and you get a nice even golden crust all the way around. Um, we're just going to pan fry them now. So I've just put, a, you know, a good amount of oil in there. Yeah. You do need the oil. Get the oil warm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just using a light olive oil as well, rather than, um, you know, just make it fractionally healthier. Okay, cool. Well, you so, chuck it in and we'll get going. Yeah, wave your hand over there. So you want that sizzle, and now we want to control the heat because we have got a bit of thickness in the pork. Yeah. So we just want to sort of, uh, you know, have a nice uh, medium heat. So we're going to get some colour. So it takes a little bit of time, and we'll turn it over, and we can build it up, and then by the time it's nice and golden, it will be cooked. It will be nice and golden when we come back. We'll also be taking a look at how we do the sauce and a little piping technique for you to learn to finish up what we are doing here. We're going Japanese. These pork chops we've crumbed. They are cooking. They are golden. They smell divine. So what do we need to do? Keep them on low heat, cook them evenly? Yeah, sort of a, a low, well, sort of a medium heat. So you need the heat to get the colour in and gets nice yep. and crispy. And we'll just keep turning it. So get a nice colour on it, turn it, get the colour again, and then we'll just keep flipping it until it's ready. But probably okay, nice. about... You know, five, six minutes over a medium heat is fine. Beautiful. Right, right. let's get on to the sauce. Barbecue sauce. What have right. we got there? So we've got a little bit of ketchup. So ketchup. all these ingredients you pretty much probably will have in your pantry already. Okay, and it's just it thrown good. in together in a certain way to mm -hmm. get a beautiful sauce. So a little bit mustard. of mustard yeah, yep. in there. Cool. What's this? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> garlic powder. A garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder in there. A little bit of sugar just to balance. Yep. We've got some soy sauce. Yes. And some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, nice. All right. That smells good. Yeah, so that's going to give it a nice tang. So, just going to mix all that up. Okay, that looks pretty easy. Do yeah. Do you want me to mix it with the whisk? Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. <laughs> It'd be easy. Right, so we've got the sauce. We've got some uh, Japanese mayonnaise as well. So that's uh, Kewpie mayonnaise. And this is great. Mm. I, I, I can tell you, go out today, buy some, keep it in the fridge, and you can put it on absolutely everything. What's it called, Kewpie? Kewpie mayo, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. It's just um, it's just nicer than our mayos. Just do it, trust me. Uh, so it's really good. So, um, you know, that, that's the mayonnaise, what you get in all the Japanese restaurants. Right, so we're going to make some piping bags now. And then we're going to do some little lines going across um, the pork when we slice it and it's uh, crumbed. All right, we'll just have a flip of the pork. Have a look on okay. the other side. Get a cheap bit, you're right. How are we looking here? Because I reckon that's pretty close. We've got a nice colour on both sides. Flip it over. You like that? And then just want to give it a little prod. Yep. Be careful because it's quite hot. But it wants to sort of start firming up. And we're going to let it rest for a minute or so. Not too long because you don't want the um, uh, crust to get soggy. And then you slice it. It'll be nice and juicy inside. Crispy on the outside. Beautiful. Mm. Right. Okay. So cool. square of greaseproof paper. Yes. And then take the corners. Mm -hmm. And then just you want to make a triangle. Okay. Okay. Got to save right. you some money, doesn't it? Yeah. So really score it. And then sharp knife. Going to um, cut that off. Right. Right, and then the longest side of your triangle. Longest side of the triangle. Finger in the middle. Yes. Curl it over. Yeah. The top. Yeah. Curl that one around. Nice. And then yeah, what you, you do it. is just have a fiddle around with here, and you get a nice point there. Yeah. Keep your finger on the inside, and uh -huh. then fold it in on itself, and right. then that'll just hold it. Right. There you go. <laughs> That or get a state player. That, yeah. that was for the comedy people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they took thousand dollars. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you've got to be funny, so not, not just look funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So fold it over, and then you know make sure it's nice and tight, and then give it a nice good fold. And there's your piping bag. So you can use this. You can put chocolate in there. You can pipe yeah. uh, names or happy birthday on there. You can put sauces in there. You can put anything you want in there. It's great. It's really oh, easy yeah. to do. Well, that's really easy. So we're going to fill one with the barbecue, one with the mayonnaise, and we're going to garnish a little bit later on. OK, if you want to see how to garnish properly, then make sure you stick around because you'll see the finished version very soon. Thank you very much, Mark. Now it's over to the kitchen, and Mark, how's the pork tonkatsu going? It is looking great. We've got it here. It's just rested. We're going to slice it. So you've got a nice, crunchy um, 
outside, nice and juicy inside. Yep. Just goes on top of some rice. Okay, so you've cooked up some rice, the, and now you've got your big bags. The mayonnaise over the top. Oh, that Ooh. looks fascinating. Oh, and then the barbecue sauce over oh. the top. Ooh. That's how okay, they that's, do it. It's, it's all about like the a Japanese restaurant. Some toasted sesame seeds. Oh, yum. A little bit of fresh chilli, some spring onion, and a little bit more mayo because <laughs> you yeah. never had enough of that Japanese mayo. It's and delicious. And there you go. That looks incredible. Oh, oh yeah. It's okay. So good. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to China and we're doing hoisin glazed chicken. Yum.